here is Mia again, like our famous YouTuber, and she told us that she was like in, in New Age, and I'm very interested, can you tell me, like, what did you do? What was the way into New Age? How did you get into New Age? Yeah. The way that I got into it, which I feel like a lot of people start this way, is from um, The Secret. I was watching the movie, the documentary on Netflix, The Secret, and learned about the law of attraction and manifesting and everything, and thinking that... Um, you know, we have the power to get whatever you desire. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, I, um, you know, I didn't have anything going on in my life. I was kind of bored. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, I want to manifest, you know, fame and money and just like certain friends, a boyfriend. So I was like, okay, let me, let me do this. Let me write down everything I want. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I got into it. And I ended up getting everything I want because, you know, God's not going to give you everything you want, but Satan can and he will and he'll take advantage of that mm -hmm. and so he'll bring people into your life um, if you're desperate for it but then those people may not be sent from God so then they can bring you down the wrong path and that's kind of what happened to me and um, so that's how I first got into it and then um, I started getting into crystals thinking that they would heal me and um, just certain like new moon rituals thinking out of just desperation mm -hmm. for like being healed and being able to get out of something and really the only one who can set you free from any um, thing is Jesus but I was looking for anything else besides Jesus to set me free and heal me hmm. and um, then I got into like I went to a Reiki energy healer because I thought she could heal me and give me peace and you know that only opened the door more in the realm of the spirit for like demonic things to enter just like how they say um, playing with a Ouija board will open the door for like evil spirits to come into your life same with Reiki and meditating not on God's word just like meditating to or trying to astral project anything like that it all opens the door and so if you yeah. say like open the door you say that you felt very depressed or something going you know you, you were yes. a happy person and suddenly, suddenly you, you yeah of, yeah i used to be that? so happy and like my whole life i was just super bubbly and happy and optimistic if anything bad was going on i always saw the good and said oh this is all happening for a reason but ever since i got really into this new age stuff and um it was i allowed all these spirits into my life unknowingly and what happened is i started seeing life through like a different lens it felt like just super negative i became more pessimistic i started seeing like the bad in every situation mm -hmm. and thinking oh this isn't right this is sad oh the world is terrible you know all like that mm -hmm. and then you also said that you read astrology what, what did you do right. with astrology what was that yes about? i was obsessed with astrology um because i felt like uh you know, I was obsessed with my zodiac sign. I wanted to know more about who I was because I didn't know who I was. Um, so I was looking for all these other things, like things of this world to define who I was, like astrology or like a personality, um, what's it called, tests or whatever. But really- Why was the reason why would you, why would you like to do that? Or all this stuff? Because um, I, just to be confirmed. To be confirmed, to know, to have more confidence, to know who I was. Um, but really, all that stuff, it, yeah, I was like putting my identity in these things. Mm -hmm. When really, you don't need to be doing that. Mm -hmm. you know? The same, what was the, you told me about the higher self. The Did higher self, that what right. So then I eventually started thinking that I had a higher self, who was, I thought was like this spiritual, like version of myself, who was like giving me all this, information when really that was a complete lie and that's not it, that doesn't exist we don't have a higher self mm -hmm. so it was a it was a demonic spirit mm -hmm. that i thought was mm -hmm. me and, and and you said it, it distracted you kind of from mm -hmm. from from jesus and you said at one point what happened your mother told about the the, the warning the warning uh, okay and she, yes. she wrote she wrote the book huh? yes i read so, the book yeah. yeah and so eventually okay so my mom mm -hmm. she got this book about the warning and the illumination of conscience mm -hmm. and she was reading it this past summer mm -hmm. and she was telling me about it she's like oh this is gonna happen we're all gonna have an illumination of conscience and um i was like oh okay cool mm -hmm. but then um then i started looking into it myself and i was like oh this is cool um that would be like such a miracle 
And so I started getting kind of like excited for it. Mm-hmm. And then a few like weeks later, it happened to me. Mm-hmm. What happened? And so I, like one night, I saw, it was like lasted like 20 minutes and I just saw my soul, like as Jesus saw, I saw all my sins and all like, he kind of showed me like your higher <laughs> self isn't real, yeah. you know, all of Satan's tactics of like how he was working and like manipulating me and like lying to me and having me believe all these things that were false. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just like shocked and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And Mm -hmm. my life changed ever since that. From that time Mm -hmm, on. Since that time. But you said there was still a spiritual battle going on, no? You said like afterwards all these these, these demons of the higher self, they Mm -hmm. all turned on you? Right, they all turned. Like the second I started turning to Jesus, Uh um, after being involved in all this new age stuff, it was like just a complete spiritual war that I was in because I would have like demonic dreams and, Mm -hmm. and in real life I was like super depressed and like felt depersonalization and it was just terrible and um eventually that stopped Mm -hmm. but it took a lot of deliverance i needed to like repent of everything Mm -hmm. and be delivered and that happened like after your mom came back from Macedonia when you said the first step was that the first step that um, when you saw the video with the exorcist you said looking at this video you can um, you can have liberation Mm -hmm. is that was that was a big step on the way or right that um that happened the night that I had right before that like illumination of conscience mm-hmm. um, I saw this video mm-hmm. I just came across it mm-hmm. of this priest doing like an exorcism mm-hmm. like on the screen mm-hmm. and I decided to watch it and um, like I was just yawning so much as I was watching and I started crying I started like uh, sweating and shaking and and then that night then I had the elimination of conscience. And that was right after my mom came back from Medjugorje. Unbelievable. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And that's when I realized the higher self isn't real. And that's when I realized everything I was believing were just like distractions from the truth and they're all lies. Mm-hmm. And there were it was like false peace and all that. And you left uh, like unpeace actually, no? You unpeace, said like, complete, no complete peace. Unpeace and you had no humility, you said also, no? It, right. it, it, how, how was that? How, you yes. said like how, how how would you describe it then you said like you knew better mm-hmm. than you had this higher self right, and right. how, how would, yeah, that, would when you describe I, that effect on you yeah when i believed like i had a higher self i was so um prideful i had so much pride and um i just thought like i knew everything i thought i was better than everyone in the, in the back of my head that's what i thought mm-hmm. and i thought you know i know the truth you know a lot of people don't know the truth and it was just terrible because it just it messes with your head then you, you don't have any love for anyone else you know wow <laughs> so so much pride and it just like destroyed it destroyed me um but then as i've been delivered i i don't you know have that pride anymore it's like i'm set free from the pride mm-hmm. you don't like want to have that it like it like chains you up mentally exactly mm-hmm. It's like the father of lies, no kind of, and mm-hmm. he's like trying to capture you. Mm-hmm. And you said like at one point also on your way you had like um, like the Holy Spirit, kind of a baptism of the Holy Spirit. Can you yes. describe what that is? Oh yeah. So that happened before all of this. Um, it happened in the middle. Like I was in with the New Age. I had all the New Age beliefs, but um, one day I was sitting on my bed, just like editing a video and. I just felt so much love Mm -hmm. just like take over me and I was like wow this is the Holy Spirit I knew it was the Holy Spirit and I started crying out of love and I just felt how much love like God had for everyone Mm -hmm. and it was beautiful and um, that was the first time I felt the Holy Spirit unbelievable and then you said the the, the, the spiritual warfare began right and so then um, the second I acknowledged God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit in that moment um, because then I posted something about it online and I said oh God is so good the Holy Spirit is so amazing and like the second I did that after being involved in the new age beliefs it was like um, hell breaking loose just yeah hell like it was like a spiritual warfare that's when it really started and yeah. all the spirits that I had let in, like, turned on me. 
You said like nightmares. Yeah, yeah stuff nightmares like, that. like complete, and they felt so real. There, it was like wow. demonic attacks in the dream. And Did you ever have sleep paralysis? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, I haven't, but it was like, yeah, it was like that. Um, Actually, you have a good friend here from America, he's good. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. He's right. I, Sorry. Uh -huh. No, yeah, yeah. I, um, it was like, yeah, just like demonic dreams, and then, like, in my dream, then, like, the Holy Spirit would take over and like, start speaking in tongues in the dream and then I would always like the Holy Spirit would always win uh -huh. so the Holy Spirit was winning but it was like this battle and I didn't even know what was going on and so yeah this is an, this is an amazing story so <laughs> what would you like what would you like to tell like 99 here and people of your age who see Netflix who see like the law of attraction what mm. advice would you give them I would say that um, first of all you don't want every you don't want to have everything you want because Sometimes all the things that you think you want aren't actually good for you and they're not what you need. And so just being content with like what you have, that's the key because then you're not going to desire more. But um, also the only peace, like the only true peace that there is in like true love is Jesus, not this like new age stuff. Um, it's just, it's just the opposite. It's the counterfeit. It's the kind of no? It looks nice. It, it looks nice on the outside. It looks fun. Like, oh, no judgment. Like, there's no rules. And um, because you think you're not going to fit into, like, Jesus. But really, Jesus is um, freedom. He sets you free. There's no, like... And he's not boring, no? It's an adventure with him, no? Yeah, it's saying, so like, fun. What do you want right, no, Jesus? it's not boring. It's so fun. And it's so amazing. It's, like, the happiest I've ever been. Oh, you know uh -huh. this is amazing what you're saying mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much Mia for this interview again thank you for having me it was a big pleasure talking to you again <laughs> bye bye, bye. <laughs>